We saved you, Santa, from your horrible fate of being a tiered tray. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul video from yesterday's video, which was the shop with me. And that video will be linked down in the description below so you can go back and watch me find some of my pretties that I found. Well, let me just say it was a good trip down to Finders Keepers in French Lick, Indiana. I got some, I got some, I got some good stuff. It was pretty epic, I have to say. I'm gonna show my the Christmas things that I got first. Cause that's kind of where my mind is right now. So the first thing that I got was now I I want to say I I, I haven't checked for sure, but I want to say that this is Holt Howard. It might be left in. It's not marked anywhere. It doesn't have a sticker on it. Well, it says it's a Holt Howard on the tag. It says it's vintage Holt Howard Santa Face napkin holder from 1964. And it was $3. $3. So I have to look and see if I have him. I'm not sure if I do. If I have him, then he, then he will be for sale. I will be selling him. He's got a little bit of paint loss on the cold paint on his nose, but just a happy, jolly Santa from the 1960s. And then... I found this. Now, I posted this on Instagram the day that I found it. It is a, it just says Japan Christmas spoon holder. That's what the tag says. And it was $2. So I was like, uh, that? No. And then I looked it over and it's Holt, it's also Holt Howard. He's got some cold paint that's coming off of his cheek and his nose. But then I looked at the sign. There was a sign and it said all Christmas is was 50% off. So I paid a dollar. A freaking dollar for this Holt Howard. I know. I, I about died. So I'm keeping this. I don't have this one. So I was very happy. Now this is nice because you can hang it on the wall too if you would like. Uh, which I might. I don't know, but... I love you. Then you might have seen in the video, someone had glued a plate to the top of this mug. Look at this mug. It is a Santa jeweled eyed mug. It's got beautiful crazing on it. I love the crazing. Uh, it's in really good condition. Now someone glued a plate, like a dollar store plate onto this mug to make it a tiered tray. I, we, you know, my husband helped me save him. So we heated it up and some of the cold paint did come off around the rim of his hat, but he's, he is saved to not be a tiered tray fiasco. So I'm keeping him. I don't have this one. I love him. So we saved, we saved you Santa from your horrible fate of being a tiered tray. What other, well, this isn't necessarily Christmas, but it's red. So we're going to say that it's part of the Christmas family. Um, it is a hand blown. It's the, the pond tail has been pretty well sanded over. Uh, it is a red glass candy dish is what the tag says. I did, did pay $4.99 for this. I don't know. I liked the shape of it. That's kind of scalloped. I don't know. Maybe... I liked it and I think it would be neat with some uh, silver Christmas bulbs in it or Christmas balls in it or I mean you could put candy in it you could put whatever you wanted to in it I just thought it was pretty kind of this ruby red glass and this is red glass it is not flash so $4.99 for that okay I think that's all of the Christmas that I got from that store yes from that place um although i'll go ahead and show this um th because you could definitely use this for christmas items as well it's a syrup pitcher so it has the little spout here where you would you know put syrup in it and pour your syrup or your cream if you wanted to um this is made by it says federal housewares chicago illinois fedco corporation the thing that I like about these is, for Christmas time especially, is that you can fill it up with vintage Christmas lights uh, or, or ornaments or whatever, tinsel. You could do fill it up with 
different things. And it looks really nice in your kitchen as part of the Christmas display. Um, I did pay $6 for this and I loved that mint green color. It's in really good condition. I probably will, I might keep this and I don't know, maybe I'll sell it and put some, put something in it and sell it. That is a, a, t a little tip as well. If you have, you know, something like this or even something that's just a clear glass jar and, and you want to sell it, if you put something in it, uh, you have to look at that price margin there because you're putting more in it. it so make sure that you are um, still getting what you need to out of it, but it can help sell certain things. So if you have one of these and it's just sitting in your booth forever, put something in it and and it will sell more than likely. All right. Oh, I, this is Christmas and I'm, I'm keeping this. I collect these little Mary's angels. I don't think I have this one, but these are made by Hallmark, little Mary's angels. The little Mary's angels are easy to, to identify because they have, they're all standing or sitting on a cloud, this little plastic cloud. But they're so sweet. Look at his little face. And they all have like floral names, I believe. All right. I got this. Did I wear, did I get, yeah, I got this there. Well, I'm going to show you a haul from another place that I went to. I didn't film in there, but I'm going to show you what I got from there. But this is still from uh, Finders Keepers. This little plate here, it's just a little decor, like meant to hang on the wall plate. It isn't some a plate that you would eat off of. But it says, this is my house and I'll do as I darn please. I liked it. I like that saying. It has a little hanger on the back. It was made in Japan. I paid $2 for this. So all of these things, except for the things that I said that I was keeping, they will all be available in my next live sale. But if you see something that you might be interested in beforehand, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and we can talk about the numbers and how much uh, shipping and all that stuff will be and we can work out a deal. So you can send me an email if you see something that you like. There is this Westmoreland satin glass, which, man, I just, there are certain feels and textures and Brush McCoy is one texture that I like to feel in satin glass. It's just, it's so silky smooth. This is what made by Westmoreland. It's hand, has a hand painted flower it's a little heart tray or a little heart dish. It does have the Westmoreland, uh, well, you are not gonna be able to see that in a million years. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Probably not. But it has the W, the Westmoreland uh, stamp on it. And it was $2. No, it was $3.95. And they didn't know what it was. They just said blue heart with daisies. But it is Westmoreland and it feels so good. It feels so good and it's blue. Blue glass is lovely. All right, I got some cats. Now these three chalkware cats have been speaking to me every time I have gone in and I didn't buy them, but I bought them when I went in there this day because they were, I think 25% off. I don't remember, it was in the video. Uh, so they were, I got all three of them, I think for 25% off of $12.50. They are chalkware. Um, they, there are similar cats that you'll see like this that are ceramic. Now these are chalkware and I don't think there isn't, they're not marked Miller Studio, but there, there is this little guy. He's standing up. He's standing up on his hind legs. And then this little guy is pawing at something. They're all in great condition. And then this little guy's laying down wanting you to rub his belly. So I, the paint is very, very nice still on these. So I went ahead and got them for the price. That was a good price point for me. All right. I also got this little boxer dog. Every time I go into that one certain booth, they have a shelf full of dogs for $1.99. And I bought a lot of them, but they still have this little boxer. So I went ahead and picked him up. I think that he's pretty cute. He does have a little bit of paint loss. He's made in Japan. He was $1.99. And then I got these little creatures. The, this one is a St. Bernard. It's like a little bone china St. Bernard for 50 cents. 
And then I got this little toucan. Also feels like bone china. He was also 50 cents. Sitting on a branch. 50 cents. And then this goose was also 50 cents. And I made sure that I checked all the goose's wing tips because that's a place that, you know, they could get broken off. And I actually checked this time. So I, I was proud of myself for that. But this does looks like an angry goose. And then I got these little, oh, the, so the goose was 50 cents. And then these little cats, all three of them were 50 cents. So they're, they also feel like bone china. There's this little mama cat she's carrying around. That always creeped me out. My cat had kittens and she would carry them around like that. And it was the weirdest thing ever to see. But there's that mama. And then there's two little kittens. These are so cute. There's that little kitten. And that little kitten. Little teeny tiny little baby kittens. And then I got these elephants. They were $4. It says they're animal ornaments. So I think that they had a little hook on them and the hook has since broken off. But they're that early plastic that I like. Now you can see it had a hook right here, but the hook is broken off, but it's that early thin plastic that I love. So there's a white one and a, or yeah, a white one and a blue one. Cute little elephants there. I feel like they're probably made in Japan. They're not marked anywhere, but I just like these plastic baby toy looking things. All right. What else did I get? I got a Royal Copley. I love Royal Copley. This Royal Copley was, I don't remember if this was on sale or not. It was a week ago. Yeah, a week ago that I, no, almost two weeks ago that I was in there. This is Royal Copley Vintage Duck Planter. I want to say that maybe it was 25% off. I don't remember. But if, if at any rate, $9.50. It's beautiful. Royal Copley is so good. I love the paint. It almost looks like it's airbrushed on there. So Royal Copley is something that I, I just love it so much. And I got some Tanala. These Tanala birds were $10 for all three of them. All three of them. I'll show you. Uh, they're Mexican pottery. They, this one says, set of three hand-painted Mexico birds. This one's like, almost like a pigeon. I love Tanala pottery. Look at the big eyes and the little little nuggy feet. So there's the big one. And then none of them match either, but they are all sold together. I'm just looking to see if this one was done. This one just says, also says Mexico. It kind of has the shape of like a cardinal bird. It's not red like a cardinal, but it has that shape to it. Here's the back of it. And then the littlest one, it's also signed Mexico. Here's the back of it. It also has the little nubby feet. It's like a little, it's a darker blue color. I love, I love pottery in general. Um, I love things that are handmade. Uh, and so I really like that these are hand painted and I, I just like them. I think they're pretty. I got a piece of treasure craft for $4 and 95 cents. It is marked treasure craft USA. And I have never heard of this place, but Underground Atlanta. Leave me a comment if you know what Underground Atlanta is. I don't know what it is. I haven't Googled it, so I'm not sure. But this is an excellent condition. And you know, Treasure Craft is, is a, kind of a souvenir type piece. So you would see these a lot in um, souvenir shops in the, in the 1950s, 1960s. This one's dated 1969. Uh, so Underground Atlanta, a little trinket souvenir dish. And I got some poodles. I got some poodles. I've sold this one before. And I got another. This was $6.95. Squeaker alert. Just so, you know, hide, hide your husbands, hide your wives, hide your dogs, whatever. Because this squeaker <coughs> is a squeaker alert. This was $6.95. I don't remember if it had who it was made by. I don't think that it's Mobley. Maybe it doesn't say. It doesn't say. But I've sold this one before, 
and it's just a little poodle with this little pulse it's just being a being a pretty girl you're being a pretty girl the little pink cheeks and then i got this poodle schnuda this one's made in japan and it was six dollars and fifty cents as well which is a little much honestly i have to say that's kind of like the tip of the iceberg for what i will pay on certain poodle schnudas or really any animal figurines but this one was made in japan and it was a nice size so i got that they had a lot you saw in the video there's all kinds of poodles and if the price was right i would have bought them all but they were a little spendy and like i spent a little a little bit much on this one i paid eight dollars for this one but i loved it it is a shaker so it would have been a set this is only the single isn't she so snooty? She's so better than any other dog. She's better than any poodle. She's got a little hat with a flower on it. She is California pot. Well, it's a souvenir of Santa Monica, California. I don't know if she is California pottery or not, or if she was made in Japan and she was just, she, they just put the sticker in the souvenir shop back in the day, but I just liked her. I don't know. I, I, I probably have paid too much for her, but you know, we do that sometimes. This little Puda was $3 and it's marked a retro and it's a Joseph's original. Here's the Joseph's original tag right there. It's a cute little Puda with little eye, with little eyelashes. It's marked Japan and it's in great condition. She's got a little yellow flower in her hair and a little poofy tail. She's just so coy. Hello. I'm fancy. That other one's just snooty. And then I got this. I, they had two of them and I just bought one. I just liked the box. This is Avon. Avon. I paid $4 for this. Um, Suzette. Avon Suzette foaming bath oil. So it came in the box. And here is the bottle. And it's full. It's full. That's a cool bottle, right? Should we smell it? I don't know. I'm going to smell it. Smells like Suzette. Smells just like Suzette. So, this. I don't know. I like the bottle. But now it says, when this is empty, wash thoroughly and you have a lovely decorative, decorative accent for a shelf or table display. I mean, I don't know if this would still foam. If you wanted to smell like Suzette, then you could buy this. You can smell just like her. I got these mugs. Oh, I'm super excited about these mugs. Let me just show them to you because they're they're rather heavy and they're going to need, not be, you know, real fun to ship. But they are these, oh, I love them. They are the Padilla little stacking mugs that you can just wrap your whole hand around. It's this beautiful drip glaze. So it's kind of a a teal green with some blue and really nice earthy tones around the rim of it. They do have their original stickers and they are artist signed. And they have the stand, which is also marked with the sticker. Oh, I didn't even see this. It also has the original little tag here. I didn't even see that mug trees hand finished distinctive stoneware the original padilla so there are four mugs they're so lovely i want to say that they were like 50 dollars or so for a set with the with the mug rack and i paid 12 dollars for them so that was a great find like i said they're they're heavy but they're so they're so neat i don't have them stacked the right way but you get the idea but so that's a good, that's a good, that was a good find, especially winter time. So I'm going to, I probably will list these on eBay here very rather quickly to get them listed because it's a nice like winter time vibe, cozy sitting by the fire drinking some, you know, hot cocoa or something. So I think I'll do that. All right. I got some vintage postcards or no, these are cards, just vintage cards. I don't know how much I paid for these because the price tag isn't on there anymore. But to a little girl who is ill, these cats look like they could steal your soul. Don't they a little bit? And this has not been signed. 
And then birthday greetings for my husband. It's not been signed either. Oh, there's two of those. You can give one to each husband. And then anniversary greetings to mother and father. Oh, this one. <gasps> Happy birthday to a sweet girl. It's also not signed. Oh my gosh, this one's so good. Look at her and look at this little cat. He's supposed to be like three-dimensional. He has like a little piece of foam behind him. That is a good one. Oh, look, she's eating a little box of chocolates. Probably talking to her boyfriend on the phone with her little cat playing with the yarn. So I, I want to say maybe I paid $5 for this whole bag. I'm a sucker for these vintage cards, though. I just really like them. And I got some linens. This one was $3 for this table runner. It's got, I don't know, maybe carnations on it. It does have a little hole right there in the linen. But a nice size table runner for $3. And I got this really cute baby chenille baby blanket. It was $5.99. And it's pink chenille with blues and like an ivory design. So I love that. I love chenille. And I did also get a Christmas afghan. And it was in the towards the beginning of the video. It was one of the first things that I got when I walked into the antique mall. So you could see it at the beginning of the shop with me video, but I ended up selling it during my live sale. So I did sell that already, but I did get it on this day. And then I got this photograph. Oh, I just loved it. I paid $4.95. It is Estelle and Clifton. Oh, look at her. Look at the finger waves in her hair. Oh, they're just so elegant. Not a hair out of place. Oh, I just loved it. I don't know when this was taken. Let's see if there's a date on the back. No date on the back, but oh, I love it. I think it's beautiful. They're just elegant, an elegant couple. And then I got this little Christmas book. It's made by my Whitman, and I love me some good Whitman. This was three dollars in it, and the the Christmas, I think all of the books were half price. So the books that I'm going to show you were all half price. This was a dollar fifty for Jolly Santa's sticker book, push out stick on collar. But it has all those little stamps. Do you remember? And you lick them and then you stick them where they go. They have that horrible taste to them. But so this has never been used. Stick them where they belong on the following pages and then color the rest with crayons. And so it's full of those stamps that you lick. And then I got two Whitman coloring books. They were also, so the, they were a dollar each because they were half price. This is also Whitman. And this is Let, or Lots to Do, color and activity book, but it's never been used. Oh, look, there's the mailbox. Bring our mail, Mr. Mailman. Write your name and address. Hop on a prancing pony. Toss a ball. All the things that you can do. And then this is also Whitman, and it's fun with paper. 19 easy paper projects to color and cut out, plus dots, mazes, hidden pictures, and more. And again, it's never been used, which I find is amazing because this is from, well, I don't know. It's Roman numerals. It's, it's fun. I mean, I'm surprised that no one ever used it. That's what I was trying to say. And then this book was half price. So I paid $2 for this book. And I, I'm going to open it up. It's wrapped in plastic. It's just, I don't know why I bought this. But I just think that it's fun. Maybe we can learn something from this. We'll see. And it is disco, disco, disco. We can learn to disco dance. A guide to disco dancing. Look at these people on there. Woo gee woo. They're doing the bump, the hip bump. But, oh, tips for roller, roller disco skaters. Disco dressing up. Let's see. The basic outfit. 
Most female disco dancers prefer light, loose-fitting clothes. Anything that binds or cleans makes moving about freely difficult and can be uncomfortable because it doesn't let your skin breathe. But here's a tip for you if you're going to the disco. It says that t-shirts with slogans on them are considered in very bad taste, according to disco regulars. Save your t-shirts for school and the beach. Don't wear them to the disco. You will be frowned upon. You need to wear funky clothes. Oh, like these gals. Wow. The wider the shoes, the better it goes. Off the shoulder stretch tops. Look at that. You can dress just like her if you want to go to the disco. Oh, well. They give you the whole, the LA or California hustle. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's all we can see. So it gives you, oh, look, you've got steps. It gives you the steps. You know, we can do the hustle. So disco dancing, I don't know. I just thought it was fun. It's just, it's, it's, it's good just to leaf through. Oh, there's Andy Gibb and the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Disco, disco, disco. I don't know. I paid two dollars for it. I thought it was fun, and maybe we'll it, you can reminisce on about going to the disco. All right. So the next things I'm going to show you are things that I picked up also while I went down to French Lick from another little thrift store or another little antique store, and it's my my little hidey hole. So I'm not going to tell you where, where tell you where it is, but it's a place that I like to go to. So I got the, this some linens in there. And I think this one was $3, but it's a guest towel with this embroidery. That's for your guest bathroom, for your guest. And then I love, well, okay, I kind of like this one. It was also $3, but, but I kind of don't because it has a clown on it. So I don't, and I don't like it for that reason. But I like that you can clean your glasses. This is your specific glasses towel to clean your glasses. Or maybe your actual glasses. Maybe your actual glasses, not your eyeglasses. Because look, there's glasses down here. So this is just a towel that you can dry your glasses, Misty. Good grief. Well, it's a it's a towel that you can dry your glasses on it. Anyway, then I got this is a little doily. It was also $3. Isn't this pretty? The roses on it. A table runner. I wish it was a whole tablecloth, but it's not. And I got this Valentine's apron. It's got little hearts on it. Isn't that cute with a rickrack and a little pocket? Wait, yeah, there's a pocket. Are you a pocket? No, it doesn't have a pocket in it. It has a repair, which I love seeing that. Because, you know, like in today's day and age, we just throw things away, but they would like repair things. So that's fun. A fun and flirty Valentine's apron. And then I got some of these paper mache wise men, the three wise men. They were uh, 50 cents each. And I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna put these with my, they're made by Star Japan. They kind of match my angels that I like. So I might keep these and put them with my angels that are this same, similar style. So they were 50 cents each. And then I got me an angel. And she was, a, she was $2, but all the Christmas was half price. So it's that paper mache kind of material made in Japan. So I will add her to with the, her other angel friends. Uh, and then I picked up this, oh shoot. You know, I was supposed to send this in a package to a friend of mine. So it will be a, it will be arriving late, friend. You know who you are. This was supposed to go with you in your in your Christmas box, but it is a cherry tablecloth. This is like a card table. But it's a pretty decent sized card table tablecloth. So Oh, it has a tag on it. It's made in India. Oh, look at it's 60 by 60 inches. That's fun. Made exclusive. It's made exclusively for Cracker Barrel. So it's not even, I mean, it might be vintage, but it's not old, old. Well, they fooled me. Well, I'm not selling it anyway. I'm giving it away. 
I'm giving it to my friend who likes cherries. And her name starts with an M and it ends with an E. Do you know who that is? I bet you do. Then I got this tablecloth. I liked it. It's linen and it's just pink. Pink linen. Again, a table, card table size. It was, I think, $4 for this. And it's in excellent condition. It doesn't have any stains or holes on it anywhere. Okay. Now, I also, oh, one more thing from there. I got these. Don't they look like little peppermints? Now, one is missing, but they were a dollar. They were a dollar. They are shiny bright. These were originally 35 cents, but they are shiny bright. There is one missing, but I like the box, if anything. It was a dollar, so it was a great price. Oh, I also ran into um, Riverside Antiques on my way home, and I stopped in there, and I got a few things in there. I got this planter. It is Norlene's Japan. It's a little fish planter. I want to say that I have sold this one before. It's in excellent condition. It's got this really pretty luster glaze on it, the little fish on it. And another little shell down here. And then I got these little cows. Um, I want to say that these were on sale. I want to say that they were maybe $2 a piece. That little cow. And this one with his booty up in the air. They're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little, just little figurines. And I got this. I just think that this is neat. It's, it was a sewing machine accessory box. It's a really pretty blue color, and on the inside, it's filled with vintage buttons and some bob. There's some bobbers in here too. So I just liked. I liked the look. I like that font. It's very, very 1930s, 1940s font on that, and I really like that. And that was the stuff that I got. That was the stuff that I got. I have a little package here that I'm going to open that someone had sent me from Gianna Orzoco. I'm gonna say your name wrong, Gianna. Your first name's beautiful, Gianna. So she sent me a package. It's got a card. Winter Wonderland. Hi, Misty. Wishing you holiday happiness that lasts the whole year through. I enjoy, I enjoy watching your channel. You are a hoot. I saw this while thrifting and thought of you. Just a little handmade happiness from the West Coast. Eek. Uh, all the best to you and yours, Gianna. Gianna, that's, gosh, I just, you guys that have these really pretty names. Just get so jealous. I'm not jealous, but like, I just think you got a cool name. Okay, a little homemade item from the West Coast. It's wrapped up so nicely. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh! Now, you, you know that I like weird faces on things, but look, that Santa is singing. He is singing. He's singing his little heart out. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna hang him on my tree. That is so, that's really a good idea to put his mouth on there. Singing, singing, ho, ho, or he's saying ho, 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 ho. This is lovely. Thank you so much, Gianna. I'm gonna hang that on my tree. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna wrap it back up in the paper and take it home so carefully. That's my haul. It's a little bit long, I know. It's, it's a little bit longer of a video than what I normally do, but um, but I had a lot to show you. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you leave me a comment, you know, just random things, letters, numbers, smiley faces. Every little comment does, really does help with, in the whole YouTube scheme of things with my videos. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and you hit the bell notification. That way you'll get notified whenever I put up a video or go live, which I do every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you come back for the live sale. If you see anything that you're interested in, make sure that you send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. 
And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. I hope that you all have a very, very merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year and stay safe and stay happy and healthy. And let's ring in 2021 on a positive note. So have a merry Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye.